Hey Survival Family, as promised, I just wanted to update you on what's going on over in Europe. I wanted to start out by saying, because I got a comment saying like, you're so naive, you're so dumb for thinking that Putin's the only problem. I in no means have ever said that that is the case. I think our own government in the United States is a problem, but I am just updating and posting a video just on what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. So I wanted to make that clear. So there is a lot of troop movement going on right now. Biden just announced today that he is sending a couple thousand more troops over to Europe. And from what I've been told from a few military friends that I have, if they're saying a number, it's normally more than what they're saying. They just don't want the opposite or the enemy to know exactly how many troops they are sending over. So I got in a couple comments saying, oh, you're just like fear mongering or, you know, like God says not to live in fear. And I want to make it clear that I'm not living in fear. I'm just being informed. And there is a difference. And I do think that is important to be informed because how can you know how to prepare if you're not informed? How can you know, you know, what your next move needs to be if you don't have intel? Intel is life. And that is why it's so important for me to make these updates. Um, but that being said, I don't think that if the situation was de-escalating that we would be sending more troops over there. If anything, I think it says it's telling, you know, there's a lot more going on than what's being said. And it also makes me angry that we are sending more troops over there because as much as I feel bad for Ukraine, my heart really goes out to them. Um, and I know this is going to be unpopular, but we have just as big of target on our back as what's happening in all the other countries over there and honestly I think we are sticking our noses where it doesn't belong like it's not our fight right now and we need to really you know worry about our home front right now because it is a target so who knows what's going on and why they're sending more troops but not only do we have troop movement overseas um, a friend of mine in the National Guard is telling me that they are currently moving National Guard from one state to the next. He couldn't tell me why, he just told me he is being moved. And the only reason that I can think of, of why they would move a National Guardsman, like switch them from one state to the next, is that they don't want them to know the people that they are going to be in charge of. And if you don't understand what I'm saying is, is if they had to enforce certain things they would rather them be in charge of someone they don't know instead of a loved one because obviously if they have to use force, maybe even lethal force, it's going to be a lot harder for them if it's a family member or a loved one versus someone they don't know. This obviously could just be for training or a drill, who knows? It's something to keep an eye on, but I do think it's interesting that it's happening. Putin also announced today that anything that goes against Russia, so more sanctions, if you throw out their liquor anymore, anything like that, that Russia catches you doing, it is a declaration of war. So again, not trying to fear monger, but I really don't think a lot of people realize how delicate the situation is. I really don't think they realize how close we are to an all out World War III and how close Putin's hand is on the red button. He's making it clear that he's not backing down. And honestly, why would he? Because if he did, he would probably lose his power. He would probably honestly be killed at this point because there's a lot of people angry and he has nowhere to go before he's a cornered animal. Um, so he's making it clear that anything else done to Russia and a lot of countries are planning, if not already implementing more sanctions on Russia and basically trying to fight back that he's gonna declare war on them. So who knows what that is going to bring um, because he is honestly a madman right now. So that all being said, do not live in fear. <laughs> Just be prepared. Um, you know, make sure that if you're going to bug out or you have a bug out location, your bags are packed, you know, keep them close to the door or even keep them in the car ready so that you can jump in your car and go. Um, if it were to go nuclear, you would only have about a 30 minute warning before it would hit. Um, I'm not saying it's going to, I'm just giving you an example of why it would be important for you to be ready or just make sure that your house is ready if you had to hunker down and couldn't leave, that you are ready for that as well. All right, that is all the updates. Obviously, I will make another video if I have anything else for you, but if not, I will catch you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. See you later.